938, welcome back. On Friday, I had the chance to catch up with Senator Bill Nelson at his office in downtown Tampa. The Democratic senior Florida senator has served since 2001 under three administrations. And before that, he served in the U.S. House for 12 years. We talked about a whole variety of issues concerning Floridians, and we began with his thoughts on President Trump. Take a listen. Senator, what are your thoughts overall about President Trump's first 100 days in office? Well, I think they've been kind of rocky. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I think the president is trying to get his feet. I think as he comes along, he starts feeling a little more comfortable. Now, uh, I love to get together in a bipartisan way. And one of the few bills to pass is the NASA bill. Uh, the president was so pleased with that, uh, he had us down to the White House for the actual signing ceremony. And, uh, but that has been the exception more than the rule. There's been more partisanship. Uh, you take the health care, trying to overturn the Affordable Care Act, even within one party, they can't get agreement to do it. What we ought to do is, in a bipartisan way, fix the things in the Affordable Care Act that needs fixing, and 24 million people will continue to have health insurance that they never had it before. Mm -hmm. And indeed, one of the fixes, would you believe it, is in this appropriations bill that'll be passed next week. So uh, little steps in the right direction and uh, I think we'll see more and more cooperation. Let's go ahead and talk about North Korea for a moment. Uh, what we're hearing from the government coming out of Pyongyang and uh, the leader Kim Jong-un, uh, it's not good stuff, to put it in very plain language. Um, many people are afraid or say that we could be looking at another world war. We see the images on TV. We're not sure what's going on in the mind of Kim Jong-un. Your thoughts on that? Well, it's hard to predict this fellow because he seems to be ir irrational, uh, separate from actually being uh, crazy. I, I think he, from time to time, uh, is irrational. I don't think he's crazy, but uh, he sees what attention he's getting by having nuclear weapons. He's not about to give them up. Now, what worries us is he's developing an ICBM rocket that will go all the way to the U.S. It'll take him two or three years to miniaturize one of his nukes and then to integrate that onto the rocket. When that happens, the entire continental U.S. is threatened. And that is the inevitable march that he will be on unless one of two things happen. One, that China steps in and uses its leverage because it provides them food and fuel, mm -hmm. or we go to war. Do you and think that we're relying too much right now on China and th their possible influence? I think we ought to use diplomacy wherever we can. If we could solve the problem, I can just tell you that this senator's feeling is, at the end of the day, China is not going to get him to back down from nuclear weapons. Let's talk about the bill that you filed uh, that's essentially against uh, blocking the president's executive order to open up additional areas to offshore drilling. Of course, we here in Florida know about the BP oil spill and all of the ramifications from that. Is that was that your stepping off point? Absolutely. And by the way, that bill which I filed is bipartisan. And it's bipartisan in not only the Senate, but the House as well. A lot of the Florida delegation supports this bill, mm -hmm. particularly uh, those members on the west coast of the United States. What happened, it shut down the tourist season for one entire tourist season year. And as a result, the beaches, the tourist economy, all the way south, to Marco Island, they lost a year of our guest coming to Florida. That's a huge part of our economy. That's a $60 billion a year uh, economy, just our tourism economy in this state. So that's the bill we filed. But now today, uh, the president has signed an order. He's going to open up the Atlantic coast to oil drilling. So we're going to have to have this fight 
Uh, at the end of the day, I think we'll keep it off of Florida, simply like we kept it off of the Gulf Coast because of all the military activity out here. And you can't have oil rigs. It's the largest testing and training area in the world is the Gulf off of Florida. But we've got a similar situation off of Cape Canaveral in the Kennedy Space Center. Mm -hmm. So I think at the end of the day, we'll keep it off. But there always is a fight. They always try to continue to expand oil drilling off of the coast of Florida. And the conversation continued to go on. You can read that entire conversation with the senator on our website. I posted it there, WFLA.com. In the meantime, we'll be right back.